Man, Frog simply cannot stop getting cursed. First, like the whole thing over in a. Uh... <laughs> Speaking of frogs? Whoa. What? Suwaku. Well, that's a Toho if I ever saw one. Okay. Um. I just spend a lot of time giving up these characters, too. Oh, well, bye, Sabin, I guess. Hey, we start the episode with an immediate character. That's actually kind of amazing. You know what? I'll take it. Suwaku is Gogo. -go. I don't know. I guess Genji Glove? Gogo can do any. Wait, does Gogo have Gogo abilities? First of all, hold on. What is your. You do have Mimic. You do. Okay, so Gogo is Gogo. -Go. That's actually important. If I give you X Magic, Runic. I guess just item. Yeah, that's actually a pretty good loadout. You'll need to immediately get equipped with Esper. Everybody will. Let me Esper up. Okay. So we have Gogo, -Go, which means we can go back to where we were last episode. We fought one of these last episode too, didn't we? I think so. I can just twin cast Ultima though. I mean, this can go really, really fast. And they're actually hitting me though. Yeah, Uni is my healer in an interesting way. Wait, Frog's Ready Stance actually has their blade at the ready? That's awesome, I love that. Red Feast. Yeah, it's not that red. Isn't that a thing in Game of Thrones? Red Feast? I feel like it is. I don't know, I didn't read through all the books. I got a decent chunk of the way through. But I just sort of felt like if the... I felt like the author didn't care about the characters. And I sort of said to myself, if the author doesn't care about the characters, why should I? So I just kind of dropped it partway through. Okay, um, I guess that's that, here. I don't think there's anything else in the World of Light version that we would have to do. But there is a World of Darkness uh, event in the same place, presumably. And then we have Gogo's uh, Gogo Land. Stoma. There you are, right there. Okay, okay, okay. We are hitting progress left and right, folks. We started the episode so strong. And now we need to go in here and take a nap. No, really. That's actually what you have to do here. You have to go in here... ...and take a nap. Okay, not here, apparently. That's right, it has to be specifically taking a nap in Cyan's old room... ...that he shared with his, uh... Dearly departed. How do I get there? <laughs> yep, nothing up here. I think it's out here? This looks right, this looks right. Yes. Man, Cyan really is a good map for Frog, isn't it? Here we go. Cyan and Frog really do fit well together. That I have no idea how to do this area, so I am absolutely going to brute force this. What? Okay. I think that door mazes are some of the worst types of mazes that we've that we've done in video games. Door mazes are just Door mazes and by extension teleport mazes. I both find both of those to be very unpleasant. 
And I get it, it works in a dreamscape. No, I can't go there yet, I think. It works in a dreamscape. It works in, like, you know, this whole prison of the mind sort of aesthetic going on here. That's two. Okay. Need to find one more child, I believe. Hmm. People are going to be like, Jade, why'd you go through that same door three times? And I'm going to be like, buddy, I don't know. I'm just going through doors. My brain is actively not tracking what doors I've gone through. Did I get three? I thought I only got two. Oh, well, we got three. And it's Narapa. Yep, dooming everybody. Suwaku with... Suwaku just with the double fire, right? Never mind. Okay, we fight then. Somebody has an offering. Suwaku's health is low. Base health, I mean. Oh, never mind, it's easy. Okay, 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 okay. A force shield. Wake up on the train. Cyan's storyline is really good. It, uh, and... Hello? Wait. Is that supposed to be Cyan? Well, we guess we take the treasure chest when we can. Cornet. Oh yeah, the angry treasure chest. I do not remember how you deal with that. You just turn it off? Is that how you deal with it? Oh, that's right, there's a... a rock. Lump of metal. There we go. Epe, epe, okay. And... There's a trick to these treasure chests that I don't recall. Oh, memorize the positions? Okay, well, all the bottom one is done. Now they're all open. I don't even know if we're gonna have to do that puzzle or not. What did that do? No idea. This one? Did that. No. I mean, I can get the treasure, but... Oh, that moved this. Okay. That moved that over there. You move... the Shea Lounge. There we go. That's how I said it when I left the room. I think there were... When I left the room and re-entered, I checked it was all uh, these. No? Heck. Okay. One second, we gotta go look at the chest again. They're all open. Okay. Got it. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, I was hoping it would still be solved. Dang it. Okay. Uh, ba -ba 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 -da -bow. That solves that. She lets me get in there. She lets me hit this. 
Bin ich ähm There we go. I solved it again. And it was closed, closed, closed. There we go. Good, 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 good. It looked like we were getting another character reward, though. So that's exciting. Hmm. Another dream sequence. With that character again. So it's good to know that we are getting that character as a reward. I don't quite recognize them. At least with this sprite work, you know. I'll, I'm almost, I'm sure I'll recognize who they are. Probably. Probably, maybe, possibly, I hope. Okay, I don't have to like, backtrack or something. Hello. Okay. Okay, um... I guess we save here and keep going, because we're still in the dream, it looks like. Maybe in the dream we can save everyone. Oh no, we couldn't. <laughs> oh, Flame Eater! And the Bomblets. I mean, but Ultima, though. We have officially reached the uh, ridiculous part of this playthrough, where I simply cast Ultima and things explode. Ooh! Heat Wave. It do hurt, though. Another Heat Wave could kill her. Well, then again, the enemy got hit with double Ultima, so I don't think it's productive. Yeah, okay, I didn't think it was going to survive me by double Ultima. <laughs> I mean, very few things survive being hit by double Ultima, let's be fair. Gosh, we're only 15 minutes in the episode. I feel like we've already accomplished so much. We've gotten so much done. Oh, Tali! And it's a shadow equip. Ooh. Um, I think we keep Sessa because that actually is our best healer. And I think we, well, we'll take keep Gogo -Go for now. We'll actually keep our current party. Huh? Oh, we okay, get all of our sword techs. Okay. That's actually interesting. Okay, okay, okay. So whenever we do find somebody with sword tech, we'll have access to all of them. There might be one other check with Cyan in a mountain somewhere. But as long as we have Gogo, -Go, let's go go. Ha ha ha! There's the jokes, people. You, you pay for this. These are the uh, we go go back here and get chomped. Please, chomp me. Uh, wait, no, wait, I have to unequip. Becker. There. All right, Zone Eater. Do it, do it, coward. Do it. Demi? No. No Demi. Only Nam. 
I know what that mouth does. That mouth brings me a new character, probably. Maybe. Show me what it does. What? Are you not going to cast anything but Demi? You ate me us before. What the heck? I guess that one was broken. I mean, I had it consume everyone with uh, Monch Monch before. Can't imagine why it wouldn't. Zone Eater, I'm begging you. Engulf. There we go. There's the engulf. Okay, 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 okay. I guess we just found one before that wasn't going to eat us. Keep going. There we go. Normally, Gogo is inside of here, but we found Suwaku, who is a Gogo analog, and now Suwaku is going to give us should give us access to that pathway that was blocked off before, and that pathway that was blocked off before should... Uh, I, don't know. I mean, ideally it makes it give us a character. That's the dream. And then we also have Shadow, which is interesting because I don't know what is considered a Shadow check. I can think of a few places where Shadow would have a check. And first of all, we have to maneuver through this shenanigan me. Go, go, go to the... Go east! Go east! It's pure RNG, there's literally no way to control it. I actually am going to save here, just because I remember this next room is a huge pain in the butt. This is... What happens here if it crushes, though? Does it just send me back? Nope, it hard games over me. <laughs> yeah, that's why I saved, because I thought it might. Come on, come on, game. Okay, well, I showed that off just so you can see what happens. Crush. It, safe spot in front of that chest. Remedy. Crush. Safe spot in front of the next chest as well. Wing edge. We already had one. Safe spot at that point there. Good. And now we just book it. Assassin Dagger. Nice. Actually, is that even better for us? Isn't that actually a really good dagger? Or am I wrong? Can anybody equip it? Or just nobody could equip it. Oh, there it is. Okay. No, no, it's not as good as I thought it was. Okay, that's fine. Oh, there's an, yep, another puzzle here. Jumping puzzle. And you are a behemoth suit. Not what we wanted to see. Not worth getting eaten for. I mean, few things are worth getting eaten for. Frankly, no things are worth getting eaten for. 
let alone a behemoth suit. Hey, though, we got a check done. That still counts. That still counts as a victory. That still counts. We got a thing off of a arbitrary list of things to do, and frankly, isn't that what video games are all about? Um, yeah. Let's go to... We might have another cyan check. Uh, the Gogo doesn't have anything else. I'm certain of it. Gogo is an optional character that doesn't need to have anything. Shadow has a couple checks. Gonna keep Sessu because... <laughs> because Uni is our healer. Uh, I don't want to use Sabin because... It's not good, but she needs the levels more than anyone else. So we will. Let me just take a moment to re-gear. So let's go check where we normally get Shadow. You first meet Shadow in Figaro. I don't think he's going to be here. I think it's actually going to be a, a Kalingan check. But hey. Let's see if anyone's at the bar. There's nobody at the bar. You don't see anything? Okay. Alright. Um. Oh, hello. Kids down here? No, this is a bar. So shadow, 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 shadow. I don't think they're gonna give it us the boat sequence. Could. Hmm. Well, the next place to meet Shadow is 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 here. Any realm check could also be potentially a shadow check for spoilery involved reasons. But normally there's a shadow event here. Nope. Maybe just resting in, you know, let me try resting in the inn. Because there, fun fact, there is actually a, a hidden sequence of shadow events. If you sleep in an inn with shadow in your party, there's a chance that you might wake up with a dream sequence telling shadows past. And since Shadow doesn't really tell his past before the end game, that's the only way to learn about who Shadow is, is to have him in your party and actually sleep in inns, which most people don't do. Most people just don't stay in the inns because, well, wait, floating kind of, oh wait, yeah, floating kind of, okay. That wasn't there before, was it? I didn't think I saw floating continent as an option earlier. Hmm. Let's just see if we see... Let's just do a random battle. Sure, four extend it. Oh, wow! Morph looks amazing! A little bit palette crushed, but you know what? I like it. It looks cool. Forg, would you like to do something with that morph? Or are you just morphing and letting it run dry? That's a choice that you have made. Okay. We can get a hint here. It's your Coliseum. So, you find Shadow in the World of Darkness because he's hunting for an item and gambling and fighting for it. I'm pretty sure that, the imp that, that sequence is not going to exist at all. Hello? That's actually extremely funny. Um, we 
Nope, nothing of note. We'll do one more random battle. We don't have anything that we can actually gain out of these, do we? Can't imagine anything here is going to be worth our time, unless we see, like, a cotton... It is a gold... a mega elixir. Okay. Tintabar, Ogre Nix. Okay, so there's not a whole lot here that's worth shifting around items for. I guess I'll get a cursed ring. Uni, go for it. By the way, um, fixed dice are a little bit broken. I don't know if I mentioned this earlier. Yeah, uh... <laughs> So the downside of Offering, you wouldn't know that, that Offering has a downside based on seeing Woof use it earlier in the playthrough, but the downside of Offering is it does cut your damage in half. It's four strikes at half damage, which is still devastating, but four strikes at half damage is, well, it's a far cry from doing full damage to everything forever. So what else is a Shadow Event? I'm like still waiting for like Celis or something. Hmm. This no. Whose event would this be? Whose event would this be? This would probably be a Gao event. Nope, there's Interceptor. We gotta have a Shadow event. Okay, 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 okay. Yep. What do you got for me? Alright, so they're just telling me about Gao. Um... The fact that Interceptor came up to us tells me that there is a shadow event here for certainty. Which would normally be a undead behemoth fight? Okay. And... Is that a character? If that's a character, then hype! Hello? I wonder if this means we get Interceptor on our Shadow character. That'd be great. That'd be fantastic. Hi, Ultros. <laughs> we counterattacked! Oh, we counterattacked with the fixed dice. Ultros, you done messed up. Hello? We have our Strago! We have Lady Maria! Awesome! Maria being a character from Final Fantasy 2. So what does she do? Let's find out what she does. She's our tool user! Interesting. Hmm. Strago, usually being a heavy magic user, is going to be a tool user this time. Okay. All right, all right, all right. Well, I know one check immediately for that. Hey, doggo. Because there's a Strago check that I've been... Chomping at the bit for this entire game. 
And you know it, you saw it. Presumably. <laughs> and that is the Fanatics Tower. We already cleared the tower itself, but... Oh, you can probably do this too. Do the tower first. Because this one we know has to be a, st a Strago check. That is an enormous bug. Sorry, I got distracted. We, we have Strago though. Please? I want this tiny creature. I want them to be my friend. There we go. The shock. Is it? It's gotta be. It's gotta be. Yes! And that's our Celis? Oh, we found our Celis! We got Lady Shantoto! <gasps> we got Lady Shantoto and she it's a Celis flag! There's so many things we can do with- that's the best thing we could have happened. Oh, that's fantastic. Oh, that's such good news! Okay, 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 first of all, um, Lady Shantoto? Who's it I got showed equipped? I'm sorry, you need to have anything else because Lady Shantoto requires the strongest spells. Only the strongest spells for my lady. Okay. <laughs> Alright, um, we should probably finish our Strago and. I don't know if, if there's any other shadow checks. I really can't think of where else I would find one. We checked everything for we could for Realm before, I think. But some things are Realm and Strago. We tried this before, and it was absolute shenanigans. We're just going to let this out. Oh, nice! The sword tech is actually reasonable. And look, we have... Oh! We have, I forgot we got the chainsaw. We're actually full of tools. We have all tools. That's fantastic. That's some good magic points, too. Alright, I'm just going to fast forward through this because this was nonsense last time when I did it on the live stream. It was... Just not a... Rage? I forgot to check what she had. I was so focused on the fact that we had Shantoto as a mage, I didn't even check what she has. She has rage. With a brother pre-learned rages on top, including Wildcat. No, it's uh, Stray Cat's the one I was thinking of. Max nines. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, that's so cool. I love Shantoto. I don't know if you knew. I don't know if it's my excitement about seeing Lady Shantoto here is coming through. Um, but like, I am very excited to see Lady Shantoto at any time, for any reason, forever. I love her. Alright, we're just, we're just... I honestly would be surprised. Uh, I don't know what this... Come on, come on, come on, Coral! I did this for so long last time and it led to so nothing. And I am so... Hey, that's like 15 pieces of Coral right now. If this isn't enough, then, uh... 
Screw the mouthy boy. Oh wait, it worked! Okay! Okay, 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 okay. Yep, it worked. I guess it is a Strago check. Okay, okay. Nice, 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 nice. Real quick, real quick, real quick. What are your rages? Um, any, there's only a couple of actually good rages. I don't remember what they are, honestly. Magic Urn is pretty good. That one is the heal one. Infinite heals for no mana. Wildcat is not the one. Oh wait, it actually tells me it actually tells me what they do? Sour mouth, sandstorm at the top there at the at the top it actually tells me what they do. Wait, did this shift again? Real quick. I don't see stray cat, but that's okay. We don't really Need it. Hello, Fumbaba. Oh, it's you. Okay. Just send Holy into him. And how much is a chainsaw gonna do? Good job, buddy. You saved it. Why are you doing so many of those? Stop it. Boom. Miss. Okay. Look, if Shantoto casts Pearl, you're just going to perish. That's just how it works. Oh, Shantoto from Final Fantasy XI. She is a, a really good character. I really enjoy her. She's fun. She's cute. She's cool. She's stylish. Fashionable. I got a headband from the fight. And the Ifrit Magicite. Okay. Hey, that's a thing. That's a check. That's a completion point. What about World of Balance, Thamasa? Does that do anything for me now? Because this would normally be a Strago... I would have considered this to be a Realm check, but we checked it with Realm and it didn't work. Nope, this, would, this house should be on fire. I, again, I am very disappointed that that this house is not on fire. That house should be on fire! Okay, so I looked something up because I was curious about it. Because this should be a Strago check. And it is. We have to stay in the inn to flag it. That's what I didn't do. Because like why would I, right? In in the base in the the base game, the an NPC tells you, hey, you should stay at the inn, and the inn is you know one GP. It's a, it's a free inn stay. Oh, this sent me immediately into here. Okay. Oh, the Skyrim fight. Okay. Interesting this Is this a glitch on the music or is this just a section that doesn't have music? I don't remember Oh well there's music And send Sick. Love it. The sword texts were so cool, but in the base game, they were unplayably bad. Okay, so Sky Armor... 
Oh, oh, that's right, because Sky Ember is normally a part of a rolling encounter. This just feels so dramatic. I, I like, almost want to be quiet. Because it feels like it's a dramatic moment. It's not a dramatic moment. It's just a couple of a couple of sky pirates inside of a burning house. That's not dramatic. That's just Tuesday. Like that's normal. So it's not as dramatic as it seems. Do I not have? Wait, wait. That wasn't a, a flagged one, was it? I'm just gonna hit health here. We'll do it the cool way. Man, we got all of our sword text just in time, didn't we? I do want to see how much a chainsaw does, but apparently not this fight. Just partially to remind. Okay, real quick. Yep, yeah, we got the Moolah Charm on, so though these are scripted battles. And sword text, we have single attack, single counter attack. Half an enemy HP, so Demi. Four, uh, four strikes, which is usually the best one, honestly. Just, it's just the best one to run. Um, yeah. Empower, which is actually the Lancet ability that's usually associated with Dragoon. Uh, Stunner is just a Quadra Slam that can cast Stop. Quadra Slice is, yeah, just a heavier four strike. And then Cleave is the instant kill all enemies. I want to see how much damage the chainsaw does, or if it does damage. Actually, yeah, go ahead and, hit, and just hit... Let's just see what the auto crossbow does to start. <laughs> okay, the auto crossbow hits like a truck. Got it. Yep, that's still coming along nicely. And more Sky Pirates! Bam. Um... Let's plug a random rage, I don't know. Sky Armor. We got Sky Armors against us, let's use Sky Armors. Quadra Slice is probably gonna end the battle. How much do you do? You do... Okay! Also, look at the sprite! The sprite goes into a laughing animation in the middle of the attack. It's so cool. I love that. I love that it does that. It's... Cyan's a cool character, alright? You Vectoir? Oh, what are you about? Well, whatever you're about, you're not about to be it for long. <laughs> oh, are there are multiple enemies stacked there? Maybe. Oh. Okay. Understandable. Well, let's check it then. If I just attack... Yeah, there's multiple enemies stacked there. Interesting. Where is a antidote? Do I have such a thing? I do. And... Tincture. If I recall correctly, this is the golden path. More sky armors. Not a problem for us, on account of how cool we are. Uh, Maria, show me a drill. Four K? Not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad, not bad. I actually do need to heal. It 
Chantoto Land Ultima, which is good and terrifying. What else does she need? I mean, she doesn't need anything, really. Like, once she has the ability to cast Ultima, why would she need anything else ever? Um, where's the gold hairpin? You don't need it. Um, um whatever, take whatever. Gold hairpin, half mana. Fum fum. Shardnook. Okay. This shouldn't be too hard. Give me a chainsaw. And some health. Cast me my what? I don't know what it said. Whatever. Soak holy. Oh no, it's evil! Not a problem. Alright, so Uni is overpowered as heck, both as our only real healer. 6k! Okay, yeah, so Shantoto is good. Shantoto, of course, is, is overpowered because it's Shantoto. Of course she is. My gosh. Plasma did zero. I'm a little bit worried by the fact that they're not dead yet. That's mildly concerning, actually. Quadra should drop them, maybe? What if they had the Atma weapon? Who would I leave that on? I don't remember. I think it might be someone on the airship. I think someone else has it. There we go. Yeah, the enemies are definitely getting more health. They're not really hurting a whole lot more, but they're definitely getting beefier. Which is good, you know, we're actually seeing some fights. What does this give me? Another behemoth suit? That's fine. Is that all I got out of it? Yep, that looks like that's it. Okay, 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 okay. Hmm. Well, we have Celis. I mean, I'm gonna be I'm gonna be honest with y'all. We have access to Celis, so we are in good territory. We can do the Opera House. We can. Probably do something else in South Figaro in uh, in the basement. Um, those two are guaranteed to be Celis. And there's a few, and there's also her home in the world of, of darkness. We got plenty of Celis stuff going on, and that's what we're going to be doing next time. If you're enjoying this, hit a like button. If you're not having a good time, then don't hit the like button. Um, don't you don't dare hit the like button if that's the case. Uh, but I, I hope that you don't have to, but I hope that you feel morally comfortable in hitting that like button. But if, if you don't, I understand, and I won't take it personally. Mm-hmm. Yes. What was I saying? I don't know. Bye! <laughs>